Uncertainty still surrounds the origin of yesterday's cyber attack, which crippled computer systems of major broadcasters and banks here in Korea. But we have learned more about the type of computer virus involved in the cyber sabotage. For all the latest findings, we connect live to our Ho Sung Ha standing by at the news center. Now, s i n g a tell us what we need to know. Jihye, a government investigation team says a single entity used a Chinese IP address to gain access into local servers here in Seoul and infect them with a malicious code. The code was spread through a type of malware called a Trojan horse, which facilitates unauthorized access to a user's computer system while making the process appear harmless. IT experts say programs like the one that wreaked havoc Wednesday are usually installed days or even months before an attack, which suggests that Wednesday's was meticulously planned. So some 32,000 computers at major broadcasters and banks were damaged by yesterday's attack. Do they manage to recover their networks and fix all the computers and gadgets there? The broadcasters say most of their internal networks have been repaired, but KBS's official website and its co computers are still down. Experts say the cyber attack completely damaged the hard drives of each computer that was affected, and that the best option moving forward would be to reform it. Doing that would erase all stored data. Shinan Bank and Nunghyup say they have finished repair works and that they will compensate their customers who suffered inconveniences due to the operational failure. An initial speculation pointed the finger at North Korea for the assault, but are we any closer to confirming who or what was responsible? Well, the investigative team has yet to confirm the identity of the hacker, but as you mentioned, some are blaming North Korea for the attack. And that's because in similar attacks in the past, it's believed that suspected North Korean hackers gained Internet access through China. Pyongyang is believed to have carried out massive DDoS attacks in 2009 and 2011, and South Korean authorities blame Pyongyang for a cyber attack on Nonghyub's networks in 2011, as well as one that targeted the website of the Chungang Ilbo newspaper and its internal network last year. Well, what other clues are, have been found, and is there also the threat of more attacks like this in the future? Well, investigators in Seoul have found Latin words meaning first and Roman army's advance guard and the damaged booting files, which means that Wednesday's attack could be the first in a series of planned attacks. And as a second attack followed just 24 hours after the initial one during the DDoS attack in 2009, investigators had warned that a similar attack could follow at 2 p.m. this afternoon. But as of now, no new attacks have been reported. The investigative team says the computers of ordinary citizens are unlikely to have been affected by the attack. But the government is distributing free computer vaccination programs through an Internet website just to be safe. All right, that was our Ho Sung Ha on the latest on the cyber attack.